All right, this video is how to replace uh, the uh, LTE uh, outdoor cabinet fans when you got a bad fan. Uh, so anyway, the out, this is the outside unit that we're doing today. And uh, what you do is use 5 16 screws. Take out these two screws down here, and that pops out, and there's, that's where your filter is. And then you got this little plate right here um, that has four screws, five sixteenths up here in the, each of the corners. That pops out, just keeps the fan from, uh, well, actually keeps the debris from getting in there, and then the fan uh, from uh, shooting out and hitting the filter there. But uh, then in order to take this thing out, you'll have the four screws, one there, one there, one there, one down there. And uh, then the cable going up. And uh, we'll just, we'll be splicing that cable. But uh, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop the video right now and pick back up here in a minute. Yeah, I got the four screws off there and... This one's uh, not not a, not the same as the uh, inner unit here. The inner unit here has three capacitors uh, on the uh, mounting bracket uh, that uses to fire the uh, fans up. But uh, anyway, what we're going to be doing is just replacing uh, this squirrel cage right here. Um, and uh, basically, all you're going to do is take those four screws out back there then splice into this cable here which it runs up probably runs up to the other but uh, we're just going to be doing uh, four butt splices here you can use uh, butt splices or scotch locks or wire nuts uh, you know whatever you feel comfortable with using so we'll go ahead and uh, get this thing uh, swapped out with the new fan here and uh, resume the video I'm going to go ahead and do a quick one of this uh, as you can see I cut the uh, sheathing back got it right there uh, it's just the four wires and basically like I said you'll take the four wires from a new fan and butt splice them together with that and uh, there just removed the uh, bracket from the fan with those four screws had to cut the tie wrap there so uh, go ahead and get the other one installed right quick One thing I want to show here is that these screws do have Loctite on them. Um, you pick that up Home Depot, Lowe's, Harbor Freight, wherever. Uh, electrical supply shop, Walmart, uh, anywhere should have Loctite. And it's probably going to be the uh, medium strength to where it's, or it'll say removable. So you'll definitely want to uh, put Loctite back on these screws after they're cleaned off. And, uh, reinstall them um, and the reason why they have the Loctite on there is because of the the vibration that these fans make so you know if you don't have Loctite eventually those screws will wiggle their, their way out and uh, cause another fan failure one more tip for you guys uh, before you mount your bracket here you will want to go ahead and put your tie wrap in uh, it just make it a whole lot easier so it's, I mean, just as easy as threading it in and uh, back up. It's not too fun. Then you have to take your screws out, and you've got Loctite already on there, and body blah, blah. So it's easier to go ahead and do it before you put your screws in. All right. So I've got everything taped up, or. Uh, Put back together here. I just got to tape a tape it up, and uh, then call my excess up and use the tie wrap to tie wrap it. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and uh, show you what it what it looks like after it's complete. And before you hook it up, it's always a good deal to power it on. Make sure that the fan's running. It took a few minutes for it to kick on after the compressor kicked on. So. Good to check it uh, before you go ahead and put it in. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back off and uh, get uh, this thing mounted back in and uh, everything closed back up. Oh, and one other thing I should mention: uh, do not stick your hand 
anywhere near this uh, other than where I'm holding it. Probably I shouldn't even be doing this, but I wanted to check to make sure. But do not stick your hand because it can uh, break the skin and even chop your finger off if you're not careful. So, okay, so I've gotten everything uh, mounted back in, fans in and all that. Uh, screws are in down here. One tip I will mention is uh, for your uh, 5 16ths, I mean, you can use that. I've got the... the you know it's where you can put the different bits in there i picked that up at uh harbor freight for buck 99 it works um but one thing i will mention is it would probably be in your best interest when you're using a 5 16th uh, nut driver or whatever you're using that it is magnetized that way when you're putting these screws back in and the screws actually holding the uh the uh, fan bracket uh onto the frame there uh it'd really come in handy if i had a uh, magnetic uh bit in there in order to uh keep them uh bolts held in place until i got them in the holes but uh, we're gonna go ahead and turn this back on and uh there as you can see the uh top fan here i've got it set at 70 degrees and i actually bumped that up a little bit Move it up uh, between 70 and 75. But, uh, there's actually fans coming on, I guess, because that compressor's still kind of warm. So everything's running now, whereas before it wasn't. Again, this is, uh, this is a McLean, uh, uh, it's a LTEC Valair cabinet used to house telecom equipment. Uh, in our application, we use it for. Uh, LTE equipment, but uh, it can house uh, you know pretty much anything, uh, data, data com, telecom, you know what, whatever. It's it's basically just an outdoor cabinet, um, and that's about it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, thanks for watching.